Hello, everybody, and a good day to you all. Today, I am talking about Goosebumps, season number two, one, episode number six, and episode number seven. Episode number six is Night of the Living Dummy. Episode number seven is Give Yourself Goosebumps. And in two episodes here, we in the first episode, episode number six, Night of the Living Dummy, you get you get a, a backstory on the dummy, <clears throat> where it was at this whole time, and how they get messed up in the first place. Also, what led up to Harold Biddle's death in, 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 as well. And we also find we also seen that everybody was at the, at the young ages. You got Sarah, you got Ben, you got Nora, you got Victoria, you got um, Eliza. How they were friends, a little click from the start. And you have um, Harold new to, new to town. He was new to town. <clears throat> Most likely he was bullied really bad at, at his old school. So he had to take him out of that school and move him here. He's insecure, but he wants to make friends. He wants to start a new life, but at the same time, he's scared that people are going to, are going to bully and make fun of him again. So he's, he's, so he's kind of withdrawn. So he said, I don't connect with nobody, I don't do anything. But at the same time, he still wants to be himself because he, he, he's drawn to weird stuff. I mean, he has a, 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 a crate full of a worms that, that are his pets. Yeah, he, he can have fish. I mean, yeah, he can have fish. He can have a lizard, hey, even a spider. But he, he, chose, he chose worms. I mean, not, not, not really a choice most people make. Most people have their worms, most likely because it's, it's, it's for bait. For fishing, not as pets, but that's his thing. So it is what it is. So, <clears throat> and his parents love him and they want to protect him. And they see their son doing, making all these weird choices. Like this. this is what you got bullet proof before, dude. This is why you to leave the other school. This is what happened before. You can't keep doing these weird things. Try, try to do something else. Talk to other kind of people. Do something else. And then he finds this puppet. And then things just go messed up crazy from there. Now, you found out that, that the truth about the whole the original game with Sarah and all of them that, that they actually did not try to kill um, Harold. They didn't really bully him that much. They might, some of them thought it was weird, but you had Sarah who actually liked him. <clears throat> Sarah actually connected to him and, and actually saw. So maybe I'm not, I'm not sure she was going to maybe become a couple or not, but maybe she was attracted to him and she saw he saw a potential. And she saw he's a nice guy, and she actually was trying to connect with him as well. And you seen him wanting liking her too. But his insecurities and the things he dealt with in his past is stopping him from moving forward. She invited him to a party. He could have went there, but nope, he didn't want to go because he felt as though there was just lying. It was a kind of trick. Or something was going to happen to him. She didn't really want me. As soon as she finds out who I am, she's not going to like me. But that, so this is what's going on. And you're having these kids just watching the situation. Seeing, and I got to see the performance from Jason, Justin Long is amazing here. The way he switched back and forth between them. His performances are here. And you, you see him like. <clears throat> You really feel when, he, when he's upset and all that stuff like that as well. So he does an amazing job playing, playing this character. Cause he, he does he does both a, like a comedic, um, physical co comedy as well with this character as, as well as the serious moments right here. I really do, I do enjoy that as well too. And uh, <clears throat> and again, again, the more the backstory of, of what happened or how this how this puppet became got this sort of power. How his grandfather found this puppet because he, he he was a terrible magician and he became a terrible ventriloquist and then that his, his puppet pretty much took over and made him famous and rich and successful to the point that he abandoned his own family for for this puppet. But his change was like almost like in a way like losing his soul in in, in the process. And you got Harold in the same kind of repeating the same mistake that his grandfather made, pushing people away, turning dark and turning nasty, turning against his parents to the point that he actually turned them into puppets themselves, which was really messed up. And seeing these people who don't really know him that well going out of their way to pretty much try to save him from this puppet, even though they weren't so sure the puppet was evil or not. But you, but the thing is, the interesting part, you had Nora here, I don't know if she got magical powers or not, or, or some kind of psychic, since the, something was wrong with that puppet and made him go at the first place. And if, when they found out that it was true, well, things went bad from there. Now, should they have told the police that Harold was in there calling now I want to at least try to save him or do something as well? Yeah, they should have done, done that. Leave him there to die, that's not a good look. That was kind of messed up, and they, should, they probably should go to jail for that. But at the same time, I, I kind of understand their kids. They're scared. They got a demon puppet on, on, on hand. Who are they going to call? Um, and then they, got, then, they got, then, they, then they had to explain when they broke into somebody's house, stole something from them. Even yeah, it, it is the evil puppet, but the puppet might not, might not even do anything. And so they were sitting there saying, "No, we had to we had to steal this puppet because the puppet's this puppet's evil. It's a demon. We got to kill it." And then they just didn't know. Not only are they locked up, but they're now in mental institutions. So it, it's a win lose situation. But at the same time, they, they still messed up and somebody died in the process.
you see them dealing with dealing with that, and or, or as a matter of fact, not dealing with that, especially as, as adults. And the only person trying to deal with that is Nora, but she got locked up and put in mental institution for, for this because she's talking about killer worms. So, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's like telling the truth is dangerous, but the thing is, though, they, they gotta find that the balance. Yeah, you can tell what you can say. Yes, he was in a fire. Okay, just don't tell him why, 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 you, why you were there. Or well, I guess you got. I guess you have to because like, how would you know the fire was there? You put it was in the neighborhood. He he does like in, by himself in the wood, middle of the woods. So I guess you, I don't know. I'm not sure how they, how they would have done it either. But see, the way they should they should have they should have called. <clears throat> and then we get this the second episode here. Give yourself goosebumps where you had the kids stuck inside the stuck inside of the book. They can't get out of it, and they also meet their teacher. Nathan Brett, who's also stuck there, but then he finds out that if he feels any pain in this place, he goes back inside his body, but he can't maintain it or control it because Harold's still in control of his body, and he could push him, he push him, push him back. In, in, in comic, in a comic, in a comic, in a comic, the performances between Nathan and Justin Long and that was, I said that was done quite well. I really did enjoy the performance of him again, punched in the face, and then watching him snap back and forth. It's, it's, I really did like that, like that. And then also something interesting happening here, especially with Isaiah. And um, Isabella, and though they might be some kind of a buddy relationship might be going on there because at first it looked like Isaiah had feelings for Margot, and, they're going, and, and, and Lucas had feelings for Margot, so they're going to have the like love triangle going on there between between the group. But it looked like they decided to bell on that. Now, even though I do I do like the fact I I, I don't like the fact I I hate, I hate love triangles, and I like the fact that um that um there may be something going on between Isaiah and Isabella, something might actually happen. It got kind of interesting. They both got the same kind of name in a way, Isaiah. Isabella, they kind of like match together, but uh, <clears throat> I think it, it's interesting they, they do go in that direction, but it's also kind of weird because the timing of it's kind of weird because yeah, just like this last episode, he was he he wanted he tried to pretty much get Margot now, now he looks like he has feelings for Is, Isabella too. So, like, like, it's kind of odd there. Hope he's not trying to play two girls at the same time again. Hope he's not going that direction. Hope he, hope he learned some mistakes and grew up a little bit, matured some from that situation. But we'll, we'll see, let's we'll see where that goes. But watching them get like you get more of a backstory of, of, of what's going on in here inside the house, and, and watching them trying to get out, get free from this from, the, from, the, from this, like, this this prison that they're stuck in. It's well, it's very interesting. I really did enjoy that. Also, you get you get more of Nora and Ben and Colin, and I actually feel kind of sorry for Colin because he he's dealing with the trauma of his wife leaving him, and abandoning him, and, and keeping secrets from him, not telling what was going on. To move on to a to a woman, who, Nora. We feel as though he can't open himself to, but now she's lying to him and abandoning him and keeping him in the dark and not telling him what's going on either. I mean, yes, she's trying to get rid of a, a demon puppet. Yeah, but, but at the same time, he's he, he he's totally in the dark because if he the thing is though, she now she's now she, she's in a place that she wanted to tell him the truth, but that, that's the same thing that got locked her up in the first place. And so now he's a counselor, so he might look at her like she might be still having a mental break. So it's like, oh, this is like, so can can he can can she tell him what's going on? And then you got Ben, who was trying to deny the situation this whole entire time, finding out what Nora's actually doing, and now he's going after her as well too. And while you have um, <clears throat> Harold going after um, Nora in the body of Nathan, and so that's some weird stuff going on as well. So there's yeah, a lot of things happening here, a lot of twists and turns that, I, that I'm enjoying as well too. I, I'm running acting performances for everybody. I, I, I keep saying it all the time, just some performance here. He's like the VIP of the show for, for, for me so far. I really even enjoy him as, as a as an actor, and so it's, it's still a, a, a whole lot of fun. I'm doing twists and the turns as well too, and uh, <clears throat> and like I said, the, the horror elements in here are not too crazy, scary, but but it's enough to make you enjoy it. But it's not too cheesy as well too. And I'm really doing enjoying how they are portraying these characters because a lot of these these stories, the especially the puppet thing, have been done before in different another version of the uh, Goosebumps. But I really do enjoy what they bring to the table here as well too. The little bit twist they, they add to it that I'm I really am enjoying. So two great episodes. Looking forward to see where where it goes from here. So leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought about these two episodes of, of Goosebumps. If you haven't watched it, check on the um, <clears throat> check them out for yourself. Hopefully you will enjoy having my friend watching it as well. Also, um, links, my links down below, the low connection, my social media, you want to follow me there. I really would, would appreciate it. And also to my um, to my store, uh, so thankful for searching stocks and everything else and whatnot to see some stuff, buy some stuff. Excuse me, I really would appreciate it. Like I always say, in my dreams every life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.